Hey guys, it's me again. I'm back with another video on modifying my X-Arcade tank stick. Uh, in my first video, I replaced out all the stock black buttons with color um, HAP buttons from a HAP arcade type system. Uh, the Genuine HAP uh, brand. Um, and I got eight different colors. So what I did is I bought six different colors and I took the white button from the side, one of the side buttons on the, on the side and changed it out for one of the white ones so that I'd actually end up with eight different colors altogether. So these are half buttons. These are the stock X arcade buttons, just in a different configuration than they originally come. But all together, it gives me eight different colors, which I like. Um, and then I replaced the stock um, X arcade joysticks, which are clones of a I'd say a HAP Ultimate probably, uh, based on the design of the switches on the bottom. Um, and um, I replaced that with IL Euro sticks, um, which uh, I think look a lot nicer. They certainly feel better. Um, but uh, I haven't been all that impressed with the movement of them actually in gameplay. Um, so um, I'll continue on that subject in a minute. And the third video I made was adding one of these guys, and this is a Turbo Twist 2 spinner, which lets you um, play paddle type games like Arkanoid, Major Havoc, Marble Madness, things of that nature. So I, I mounted that right underneath the trackball. Um, some folks have asked if um, it gets in the way of using the trackball, and I would say absolutely not. I mean, typically you can still get around really well uh, with it, and usually I rest my hand here and kind of move around anyway, so it really isn't in the way. Um, and uh, the, the ball is not in the way at all of the spinner, so um, no, I don't think it gets in the way at all. Um, at any rate, um, what am I doing today? Well, I'm going to take off these guys because I haven't been impressed with how they work on um, corners and things like that uh, when playing games like Pac-Man, um, Galaga, um, and stuff like that, which are two-way, four-way games, um, really don't work real well with an eight-way stick, I've found. Um, I, I don't know that the stick is the problem. It's just that it's eight-way, probably. Um, at any rate, uh, what am I changing them with? I'm going to try uh, these guys. Um, this is called a Zippy Stick. Um, they're really cheap. They're like $8.95 plus tax um, and shipping. Um, and uh, depending where you buy them, they will come with a zippy generic red ball. Um, or um, I ordered from um, Paradise Arcade Shop, uh, this site here. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Um, but uh, they don't include the balls on theirs. They sell the balls separately, but they're like two, two, between two ninety five and, and, and six bucks, depending on which ball you choose. I actually chose a Shimitsu branded um, ball to put on there. Um, and this zippy stick is basically a clone of a Shimitsu LS32, as we can see right there. It's almost identical. Um, it's a, a Chinese or Taiwanese uh, knockoff of it. But part for part, they're they're darn near identical. And reviews I've read on them and watched online uh, all say they're very comparable, um, and they perform just as well as the Shimitsu LS32 for uh, over half the price, uh, less than half the price. Um, you know, we can see the Shimitsu LS32 is on sale for twenty two ninety five. Uh, I guess it goes for a little bit more than that normally, um, I, and these are eight dollars and change. So. Definitely a little bit cheaper. Um, I probably would have went for the more expensive one just because not that big of a difference. But uh, I've already spent, you know, 30 some dollars on the Euro sticks, uh, which I could try to return. But by the time I pay return shipping and whatnot, it's probably not worth it. Um, and um, uh, in addition to that, I also I needed to buy these guys. Um, now, Paradise Arcade sells these nice little converter uh, plates. So basically I'm gonna remove this big metal plate um, because it's not gonna fit into the um, slot on the back of the X-Arcade. Um, so basically I'll take off these four screws and I'll drop this plate on instead and it'll end up having the exact same form factor as you can see. The same form factor as these guys um, have there. You, you can see both the width and the height are identical to the original factory. Um, so that'll make 
mounting this a breeze. Uh, I won't have to really modify my X Arcade in any way. Uh, and these are nice, uh, they're metal, um, nice thick. I, I'd say they're about the same thickness as the original um, uh, silver plate. The problem with the silver plate is it's too long, as you can see, and it's also thinner uh, that way. See? So uh, by putting this on there, um, that'll make it uh, much easier to mount this. And this would work for a uh, Shimitsu or a Sanwa joystick as well. Um, uh, which brings us to Sanwa. So uh, like I said, uh, the, the Zippy Stick is pretty much a clone of the Shimitsu LS32, um, which is uh, very, very similar as well to, let me bring up this one, the Sanwa, which is the Sanwa and the Shimitsu LS32 are, are the most popular sticks in the world. Um, the JLF, the Sanwa JLF is probably the most popular and, and it's also almost identical to these. Um, so, uh, you know, the Zippy Stick is a really good alternate uh, for uh, considerably less money um, and uh, supposedly performs the same. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, work on taking out these four screws and I'm going to take off this plate and put on the other plate and then I'll turn the video back on and I'll show you what I came up with. Uh, so I'll be right back. So there we have it. Um, so I took the stock plates that come with the zippy stick off. Again, they're too tall and too thin. And I replaced them with the nice metal mounting plates that Paradise Arcade sold. And um, they were like $6.95 each, I believe. Um, so it almost doubles the cost of your joystick, unfortunately, but they're not that expensive altogether. Um, and well worth it, because now I don't have to do any kind of routing to my X Arcade. It should just fit right in there, um, which is a beautiful thing. So I did it to both of them. Um, the other nice thing about the Zippy Sticks, and uh, as well the Sanwas and the uh, Shimitsus, um, is that uh, they have these restrictor plates on the back. And basically I can just remove these two screws here and right now it's an eight way um, if I slide it over that way and then put the screws back on it'll be two way so it'll only go two direction like for Galaga something like that and if I switch it to this side over here it'll be four way which would be perfect for like Pac-Man now it is kind of a pain that you have to go underneath the cabinet to make that change um, there are joysticks out there um, uh, mag sticks IL makes one and uh, there's also the mag stick pro I believe um, by another company that uh, let you um, either use a switch on the side of the joystick which still requires you to go underneath um, or if you get the the plus or pro or whatever um, you could actually pull up rotate and then drop down um, on the joystick to change it from two way I'm sorry from four way to eight way um, but I, I don't know, there's mixed reviews on how good they are, and they're about 30 bucks a piece. Um, and what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to set one of these to four-way and one of these to eight-way. And um, for two-way games, I'll program the game itself to use the four-way one. And for eight-way games like Street Fighter, I'll program them to use that side. Um, and then if I ever want to play two-player... <laughs> Um, either that person is just going to be stuck using a four-way joystick, um, which kind of puts them at a little bit of a disadvantage, or I'll have to open up the X-Arcade and change that restrictor plate, which takes about five minutes, um, maybe a little longer with all the extra screws. Um, but uh, at any rate, I think that'll work for the most part for most of my maiming um, gaming, if you will. Um, so uh, I can play both two-player and, uh, I'm sorry, uh, four-way and eight-way games uh, pretty nicely um, just based on which joystick I configure them to use so that's my plan all right so my next step is to open up my X arcade uh, I've shown that in the past uh, basically you gotta flip it upside down and remove the eight screws so first you got to remove these little rubber pieces you just kind of pick those out with a flathead screwdriver and then there's a Phillips screw underneath each and you remove that and then this whole panel drops out so I'm gonna do that and once it's open I will turn the video back on all right, so I got the back off my X Arcade, and inside we can see the joysticks. Now these are the IL sticks. Um, if you were opening up yours and you hadn't changed out your joysticks, it would look more like that. So you can see they are different as well. Um, I go into more detail about the differences between an um, X Gaming 
um, or HAP joystick as opposed to an IL stick. I still think the IL sticks are a better quality product than the X Gaming. I'm just still not happy. I'm a little bit picky. So uh, I'm gonna switch them out for these and see if I like them better. Um, so my first step will be to uh, remove all the cables and they'll just come off one at a time. Uh, they just pop off, um, you pull them off. You might need a pair of needle nose if they are um, difficult to take off. Uh, and then I'm gonna take out those bolts, um, the four bolts. So I'm gonna work on that and I will come back. Remember to take a lot of pictures so you know exactly where to put your wires back. Um, so take pictures, take video, whatever you need to do. Um, and if you don't have the ability to do that with your phone or something, um, you could just write it down with a um, sheet of paper. Um, but uh, it's certainly easier to just take a picture, tell the thousand words, so to speak. All right, uh, I'm gonna work on getting the joysticks out and then I will come back. Okay, so as you can see, I got all the wires off the first joystick and all the nuts and washers. Next, I'm gonna remove the cotter pin here, the little U-clamp. Um, so as I showed in my previous video, uh, basically you just gotta get a screwdriver into the hole uh, into a little notch and just kind of try start prying it off little by little until it pops so that pretty much is it for that one and then just grab it off the rest of the way and then I can pull my joystick out from behind and that pulls the shaft off and then I can I already taken the bolts out so it should it should just come loose might take a little bit of wiggling. I say they're kind of tight. Uh, if it doesn't want to come, it just one doesn't. I might have to pop out the screws. Um, I'll just put a screwdriver in there and kind of pop them out, and then it should come out easier. I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I took my screwdriver and basically pushed it, and then kind of just banged the end until it kind of pushed the screws through. And now it comes right off. Let's see. Except for the one I didn't push through. Okay, it's still not all the way through. They really like to kind of hold on. So, pardon me. I pushed it through and now it comes right out. Alright, so that takes out the first joystick. I'm going to repeat the process. And then I'll be dropping this puppy into the... Um, in fact, I can do that now. Um, basically, it doesn't matter which way you put it. You do want to take the dust cover off of uh, the shaft, shaft that sh dust cover. Take that off before you drop it through. Um, I don't have to take the shaft off. Okay, so what I said I was going to do is I'm going to take the stricter plate and change one of them to be four-way. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now by basically taking out these two screws, sliding it over, putting the screws back in. And then this will be my four-way joystick. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so as you can see, I've changed it to be a four-way now, uh, which is kind of hard with one hand, but I'll try to show you. Uh, basically, it prevents it from allowing you to click two at once. So you can go up, go down, go down that way, or go that way. But you can't really hit the corners and hit two because the restrictor plate prevents it. So that's what makes it a four-way. Similarly, if you put it on that one there, it would be two-way, which would be good for games like um, uh, Galaga, for example. All right, so next step will be to drop it in. And uh, basically it's gonna go in just like that. It doesn't matter which way you put it. The switches, um, as you can see, it drops right in. I didn't have to route anything. It's actually a little bit nicer fit than the plastic one, just because it's not as big and thick. Um, but uh, it doesn't matter which way you put it in from a standpoint of the cables. Um, it might be easier to put the cables on before I bolt it because they're a little lower down towards the plate um, So I'm probably going to do that. Uh, so I'll probably take it out and start fitting on the cables now um, Before I bolt it in um, So I'm gonna work on that and I'll come back. So one thing I'm not sure about um, with this restrictor plate on is I noticed I can click that way real well. You hear it click. I click that way real well. I hear it click and it's kind of hard with my one hand, but if I click that way, you can hear it click. But when I click this way, it's like the restrictor plate keeps it from clicking all the way. So I'm going to 
I mean, you can do it, but it's, it's kind of clunky. So I think I'm going to take a Zippo knife. And I'm just going to curve it just a little bit more so that it'll click better. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so as you can see, there's a bunch of shavings on my desk. I shaved that corner just a little tiny bit. Like with this knife here, I just kind of carved it. I took the plate off and did it. I just kind of scraped, 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 and it seems to have helped. So now when I actuate it that way, I do hear an audible click. So it kind of bothered me that it was totally a, it was kind of a just silent when I would go that way, it was like that. And, and that tells me it's not hitting the switch completely. So now it is. Uh, so if you get one of these, um, try them out. Make sure that you're able to hear a good audible click on every direction um, so that you know that you'll have good gameplay. So I didn't take off much, um, and I couldn't really take off much more because you can see almost through. Um, you know, I would have broken through if I went any more. So um, it was just enough, and now I can hear my good click so I feel comfortable that it'll be a good um, action. All right, so the next step will be for me to mount it into the X-Arcade. I'm gonna again drop it back in. Obviously I can't put it like this because the thing will be in the way, so I'll flip it the other way. Um, I'm gonna put the wires on first, and then I'll drop it back in afterwards and put the screws back through with the bolts. So I'm gonna do all that, and I will bring it back uh, to video once I'm done. Okay, so I've dropped it back in and I worked the wires back on um, and I put my bolts back in and I'm getting ready to put back on the um, washers and nuts. Um, a nice thing about um, this type of joystick as well as the IL Euro sticks um, for that matter was that there's plenty of room to get a wrench in there. Um, see, uh, the base allows for you to get a socket right onto the thing there to put your sockets on. It's a 10 millimeter socket. Um, and you can use an extender like that so that you can get down into your case without um, any issues. Um, you can't do that on the factory X Arcade ones because of the base. It's right up against where the bolt goes, the nut. So there's really nowhere in there to get a socket around it. So you pretty much gotta use needle nose to get the old ones off. Okay, so I'm gonna work on that with my socket wrench. Uh, which should make it pretty simple. Uh, basically, you put it on by finger first, and then you just kind of use your socket wrench. Uh, don't over tighten it. Just until it feels snug. Um, double check as you're doing it. Um, it's pulling the screw through. Uh, you want to make sure on the other side that your bolt. You see it has these kind of a squared end to it as it goes into the case. You want to make sure that's going in the right spot. See it locks in place there. Um, you don't want to make a new indentation by any means. So make sure that it goes smoothly into those before you ratchet it down or else you might damage your XRK. Alright, so I'm going to continue that effort. <laughs> Again, I can get my socket on there, which makes this easy. I'm just going to keep going until it feels fairly tight. I'm not going to crank it down by any means because I don't want to strip anything. I don't want to break anything. Just until it feels like it's giving me some pullback, which is right about there. So that's enough. So that one's on real good. I'm going to do the same thing for the other four, and then I'll move on to the second joystick. So I got all my um, bolts back on. I did take some of the wires back off in order to get the bolts on a little easier. Uh, it is a little easier to um, get the socket in there if the wires aren't in the way. Um, so I did that. Uh, I also forgot to put one of the little rubber things back around it. I'll do that real quick. I'm holding my phone while I do this, but... There we go. There you go. Um, so uh, I have this one set up for four-way. Again, for games like Galaga, Pac-Man, uh, Donkey Kong, four-way is what you want. Um, or, or really two-way for, for Donkey Kong. I'm sorry, for um, Galaga. Uh, unless it's like Galaga Plus, which uh, you go up and down as well. 
Um, and then uh, this one's set up for eight way for games like Street Fighter and uh, Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that, where you're fighting, um, Mortal Kombat, whatnot, uh, where you need to hit two switches at once. So, you know, you can get these angles and hit two switches at once. The restrictor plate just prevents that, which gives you smoother gameplay for games like Pac Man, because um, you can't accidentally hit two at once confusing the game and making it try to go up instead of left or something like that. Um, if I find I'm playing more eight-way games, I'll switch it. Um, or if I ever want to play a two-player Street Fighter head-to-head -head at the same time, um, I'll have to open up my case and switch the restrictor plate. It, it only takes a couple minutes. It literally take off, off the back of the panel, uh, which is eight screws, and then switch these two screws off, slide it over, put the screws back on, put the panel back on. I, if I find myself doing it often, I might put only four screws on this, one in each corner, and I might even get the type of screws that you get for a back of a computer with thumb. So you just thumb them on and off, and then I'll just add little rubber feet onto the bottom of the plate. I, I may just do that anyway, because it'll make it a whole lot easier to get in and out of here, uh, so that I can change those plates. So, um, you know, I'll get the four screws on the end, or I, I could even get eight of them if I really wanted to, uh, the, the, the ones you just use your fingers. Um, and then I'll just put the rubber feet next to them or something uh, glued on. Um, that might work better so that I can get it in and out of here without any tools. Uh, and then I, I don't know if I can find um, thumb screws for these, but I probably can. Uh, so that I can just take those on and off with thumb screws as well, which would be uh, even better. Finger screws, um, no tools required then. So uh, that, that would be the next thing I would probably do. Um, so I'm going to put the cover back on here in a minute. Uh, but uh, let me just give you a sneak peek of what it looks like now that it's all together. There she is, and it looks pretty slick, I think. Um, I like the way the balls look. The ball tops are uh, pretty uh, classic arcade looking. I like the metal shaft feel to it. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I kind of just prefer it. I, I think it looks really nice compared to the types. However... Um, Paradise Arcade also sold these, and I went ahead and picked them up since I didn't want to pay shipping twice because I decided I didn't like the tops. Um, so I can just unscrew this and screw this baton on here, and this is a nice, heavy metal. It's, it says aluminum, but it feels like steel. It feels really heavy. Um, nice feel to it, and that just screws right on top, and then it becomes a baton, uh, or a bat top, if you will. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick just to give you a look at what that looks like with the two of them on there. And I, I got it to match my the color of my um, Turbo uh, Twist 2 spinner. So that kind of look. I think that it might actually look really nice as well. But for now, I, I really kind of like the ball top. So I'm probably going to leave those on. Uh, but just to show you what it looks like, I'm going to take these off. It's super simple. You just hold the shaft, unscrew the ball. If you still can't get it to unscrew, there's a, um, a flat head on the bottom of the shaft. That you can put a flathead screwdriver right here to kind of hold the shaft still so that you can get a better grip on it from up top but as long as you don't crank them on there too tight you shouldn't even need to do that you should be able to do it by hand just by holding the shaft and then unscrewing the ball so i'm going to work on that right now and then i'll show you what it looks like in a minute all right so as i say there's the x arcade with the two ball top zippy sticks this one's my four-way stick. As you can see, it doesn't allow me to hit corners. Okay, and then this is my eight-way stick. This one does let me hit corners, so I'm hitting two switches at once when I hit the corners. Or I can hit left or right or whatnot as well. I do like the way they look. I like the feel of the metal shaft. I like the feel of the solid ball. Um, it really uh, seems like a very solid, classic, retro, arcade-type stick. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the ball and put on these guys. Um, again, um, I bought these at the same time from uh, Paradise Arcade. Um, that gives you a bat top on a zippy stick or on a uh, Sanwa or Sumitsu stick. Um, and, uh, you know, so if you're Preference is the American style baton or bat stick, uh, bat um, shaft. Um, this is a good compromise. So you can get the action quality of a Japanese stick, but with a bat look and feel to it. 
Um, and these are really nice. They're they're hard. They're heavy. Um, this says aluminum, but it feels like steel. Uh, feels heavy. It has a nice metallic look to it. Uh, the paint matches my um, Turbo Twist 2 blue spinner perfectly. Um, same color, same metallic look. Very nice. Um, and you can hear that metal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off and put these on just so you can see what they look like. And I'll show it to you uh, as well. All right, so to take the ball off, um, depending on how tight you put them on there, you can just spin them off, right? But if you crank them on there real good, um, underneath, um, as I think I mentioned before, there is a flathead screwdriver. But if you don't want to um, get the case open just to change the ball um, or the bat, um, all you have to do is get yourself a pair of pliers and maybe protect some paper towels to protect your shaft. And just kind of wrap it around like that and hold it. Don't squeeze too hard because you don't want to bend your shaft. I believe these things are hollow. That'll hold it in place so that you can unscrew it. Okay, which is what I had to do because I had cranked them on there pretty good. Um, so, and I think the longer you have them on there, the more likely that is to be the case. The other thing of interest is that um, the bat, the baton tops or bat tops um, have larger threading. Okay, so the default, they're not going to go on there very well. Um, but what you can do uh, is they include these. Uh, these little guys here, switch it from the smaller threading to the larger threading and just screw those on first to the shaft by hand. All right, and then you take your bat top and screw it on top of that. And then you'll want to do the same thing, the opposite thing, I should say. Um, either hold it with the screwdriver underneath if you have the case open, or again, get your pliers around the shaft. Again, protect your shaft, you don't want to scratch it all up. And that should give you a good enough grip to crank it on. Okay? All right. So again, I'll do this side. There we go. There we go. Um, and uh, again, it matches really nice with the spinner. I happen to choose a dark blue spinner knob and it matches these baton knobs perfectly. Uh, and they have a really nice metal feel to them. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I could live with that too. So either that or the red ball top I like. Or you can get yourself all different types of tops. And the, one of the cool things about these Japanese style sticks is you can change them out and give yourself a different look and feel whenever you feel like it without buying a whole new joystick. Uh, you really can't do that with the IL Euro sticks or the HAP competition sticks uh, or any of the American style sticks that you can do with these guys. So uh, that's it. Uh, that's the uh, extent of my video this time around. I, I don't plan on doing any other mods to this uh, X-Arcade. If I don't like the way these perform, uh, my next step would probably be to put the whole darn thing on eBay, sell it, and buy something else. Um, because I've changed out all the buttons, changed out the joysticks, I've added a twist, um, Turbo Twist 2. Um, but you know, if I don't like how it works, I'll just get something different and hopefully I'll like that better. I'm just kind of picky. Um, I think I will like this. I'm hoping these joysticks make a big difference and, uh, make me really enjoy my X Arcade, um, and Retro Pi, Retro Pi with my, uh, Raspberry Pi, um, that I have hooked up for MAME. Um, so, all right. Um, like the video if you liked it. Uh, ask any comments if you like. I will respond to them. I'm pretty good about looking at them and responding and uh and there they are back with the balls on them uh, again i think i'll probably leave it like this for now uh just see how i like playing with the ball tops um but uh it's nice to know i can switch them out to the bat tops um at any time and it's pretty easy i could do it from the top of the cabinet without having to open it up um using the method i just showed you so that's it